what will be one of the more interesting things that I've ever put in my collection right beside the big Nezuko here. So a few days ago, I made a video where I showed you what I unboxed in my Ami, Ami video this month. And one of the things in that was this. This is an officially licensed cosplay. Now, most of the cosplay you buy online is not necessarily a, like a knockoff, but it's not officially licensed. Like you are not actually buying it from somebody who has, like they're not an official source. They are just usually retailers or whatever is trying to pretty much make it as cheaply as possible, and that's fine. That is a great way to do cosplay that is very affordable for the vast majority of people, and that is great. Um, obviously, I'm not a cosplayer. I never have done it, and I don't really have any major desire to do it. It's just not something that I'm very interested in, um, but I do really like the idea of having the like officially, like official costumes in display. I think that's neat uh, because it's almost like you're having a one-to-one -one scale figure in my opinion. But um, so I've never bought one of these and real quick I'm going to give you some background on it then we're going to unbox or unpackage it here and put it on the thing here. Um, but real quick this is a product by Cospatio um, that is C-O-S-P-A-T-I-O. Um, you can go check them out. They do have some cosplay stuff available. Um, I know they have done like the Love Live outfits. They've done the Sound Euphonium outfits. I believe they've done the Free Run outfits. So they've done quite a bit. So it's not like they are just Licorice Recoil, but they do quite a bit. Um, and I have always been interested in them because I think I wanted to see how their quality was because they are more pricey than normal. Um, this is about, I think, like $250 for this, which is a bit pricey, unless it's really good, but we'll see. We'll see. So I'm looking for really three things in this outfit here. Um, the number one thing is the fabric quality. That is the biggest thing that I have seen in these cheaper cosplay alternatives is the co or the cloth and the just fabric in general is very cheap feeling. It doesn't feel authentic. I want it to feel like this is an outfit that somebody would actually wear if this was the outfit that they were given. If this was a uniform given to a character like Chisato, is it worthy of that is it something she would actually wear or is it just a knockoff version the second thing kind of goes along with that and that is these tiny buttons here and i don't know if i can really show them to you right now we'll look at them more in a little bit but she's got all these little buttons that hold the outfit together now i can already tell you they're not any kind of metal that i can tell um so that's unfortunate but I want to see the quality of those. Um, those matter a lot to me because that's a kind of fund fundamental part of the outfit. If you don't do them correctly, then the outfit looks bad. Um, so I'm not expecting them to be great. Like I'm not expecting metal buttons or whatever because obviously I know that's not what we're getting. But I'm also hoping that they're not very, very cheap plastic because that's going to be kind of disappointing. And then in what is my kind of biggest thing is just how authentic it looks. And we have a great reference that we're going to put right beside it. And that is this poster over here. You can see it over there. Um, there is a Licorice Recoil poster that has been, or Wall Scroll, that has been in that corner for a few months now. And, well, we got a perfect reference here to go by. Does it look authentic to what we see in that poster? Let's find out. So before I completely take it out of the plastic here, I will kind of give you a brief overview as to what it was shipped in. It does come with a little coat hanger here as well as a plastic thing here. Um, and we'll just pull that off so we're not trying to fight with that or anything. Um, and it is held together by tape down here. So it is like well packaged. I'll give them that. I was expecting it to come folded in a box, but it did not. So credit where credit's due. I, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt until they prove me wrong on something, but so far, so good. So 
So there we go. Yeah. So, um, first off, that is quite, that, that, it's quite sturdy and like hefty. There's, there's definitely some, it, it's not thin by any means. Well, in the areas that it shouldn't be thin. Like this is not thin. This feels like it's like an actual jacket. So, solid there. I, I gotta give them credit. So you do get this little blue um, tie here that is goes around her neck here. You can see it there. Um, we will have to figure out how to tie that to make it look correctly here in a little bit. But otherwise, it uh, seems pretty good. And I'm I'm not completely convinced that these aren't metal actually. I think they may be. Now they're not like metal that you'd find in like a really high class suit or anything. They're not that, but they are definitely, they're not, they're not plastic. They're, they're not plastic. I can tell you that right now. So that is a big plus there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this thing off. Um, I got to pretty much sit it down to do that. And uh, then we'll start to put it on this thing, which by the way, I did buy a torso mannequin. I've bought Stranger Things before. There's a giant Nezuko sitting right here. You can't be surprised at what I put in this collection at this point. So obviously one thing that I am missing here is it really needs a white undershirt. Now I don't have a white undershirt and maybe at some point I'll get one to put in there. But for now I don't have that so we're not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, so I have got it completely undone here to where I can put it on there because the waist here, down here, or right here, is too small for the uh, shoulders here. And just, to, you might think, well, you got too big of a mannequin. No, uh, this is the smallest mannequin that I could find in U.S. sizes. Now, this is a Japan medium in women's, but it's still too small for U.S. mannequins in their smallest size. I think that says a little bit about U.S. sizes. <laughs> but real quick, I will mention there is a bunch of these. You can see them there. There's red buttons here, and then there's some gold buttons. These little red buttons are hidden. Um, there is about five of them on here, and they just kind of keep everything held together, especially in the waist area. Um, you can't see them, so they're, they're very well hidden. It took me a minute to actually find them, but it, they do a good job. They hide everything. They keep it well put together. Um, now I just have to put it all back together to look right. Maybe it's a good thing that I used U.S. sizes because Chisato is a bit more busty than most, and uh, this, uh, this figure is, or this, not figure, this is a mannequin, um, because it is a bit bigger of a size, it will kind of show that, I guess. So, there you go. Now, one small criticism I will give them, um, just to do something, because I actually like it quite a bit. Uh, this little belt buckle here is just plastic. There is nothing of substance to it other than just being very basic plastic. Now, the little uh, hook here, which you cannot see because it is very, very small, it, uh, despite being very small, it does, it is metal. So, there you go. One good thing. I promise I'm not looking up her skirt. It's a mannequin anyway. But I'm not doing that. I'm trying to put the pin in. Okay, so my mic has been dead for, uh, half of this recording. So I'm gonna re-record it and tell you about it now that I can. So, um... Looking at it now that we have it all put together here, um, I have a few things to talk about. And we're going to talk about it for a little bit, and then I'll give you some close-ups where it's going to go in the collection and everything like that as I discuss it. Um, so first thing I will mention here is that there is an ever-so-small little stain on her dress here. So this stain disappeared within a day of me recording this, so I don't even have footage to show you of this stain. So it's obviously not a stain, it was just a watermark or something on it, but it is now gone, so no worries there. Otherwise, it's pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the whole outfit looks nice. It looks authentic, 
it, that's what I like it I said at the beginning that is what I was asking for I wanted it to be authentic I wanted it to feel you know authentic and it does it feels like something that you would like actually see as a uniform uh, the inside of the sleeves are silk they are not just like this is not the outside layer there is these are at least two layers this the inside of this is silk that looks wrong um but it's it's really good you can uh, you can see the silk there um so it's it's really nice i'm not gonna lie um the quality of the buttons here are pretty good not perfect but pretty good um the belt loop here or the belt buckle here could be better it is plastic but what can you do um, there is a belt buckle on both of the sleeves as well, which are both also plastic. But the patch on her shoulder here looks really nice. Um, everything else just looks really nice. So I'm, I'm not disappointed in really any way besides the stain. But that's not their fault. Um, but I mean, it just, it, it nailed it. Um, as for like how it fits on the mannequin pretty good now this mannequin is not sold by them this is just something that i found on amazon and uh, it was like 20 or no it was 30 bucks so not bad not bad i mean it's a lot cheaper than what the outfit was but you know i think it looks nice and it kind of fits the whole aesthetic here i think the uh it's got a wooden base on the bottom of it i'll show you that in close-ups but it just looks nice now a um, few things. Um, first off, I did not put the ribbon around her neck, and the reason why is because she is supposed to have a white undershirt, which is probably one of them button-up blouse things. I've got to buy one, um, and I don't know. I'm going to have to order that off Amazon because I'm not going to Walmart or Target and buying a women's white blouse. So, Amazon, you're going to recommend me women's clothes now. But um, I do need to get that because the blue ribbon is supposed to go underneath the collar of the white shirt. I don't have the white shirt, so I'll have to do that whenever I get it. Um, I'll update that at the end of the month whenever I do the what I bought in July. Um, I'll show you what I did there because I'll have to get all that and then tie the tie and everything. But um, even without it, it does look good. I mean, it, it looks like it should, um, so no real issues there. Now, would I recommend this to cosplayers? Um, yes and no. Um, this is very expensive. It is more pricey than probably what any of you should be buying um, because if you're a cosplayer, you're probably on a... I don't want to say you're on a budget, but if you know how to like make this and sew this, you probably can do a lot better than this. Um, and you probably have the time to do that. If you don't know how to do that, um, then do a more budgeted option because you probably want to cosplay more than one outfit. This is an outfit you would buy once, and this would be your cosplay for the next five years because you're not going to want to buy anything else. But I think it's, I think it's really good. I mean, if, if you're really into Chisato, there you go. Now, the downfall of that is is that this is no longer available, at least on AmiAmi, and that is the only website that I could find that would ship to the U.S. without using a secondary service. Now, you can use secondary services. I don't know any of them. I'm not going to recommend you any of them because I don't, I've not tested tried them yet. Um, but as for what AmiAmi gave me, they gave me this, and it's good. I have no complaints with it. Um, they do have Takinas. Um, now, I'm not going to buy Takinas because I like Chisato better, and I have Chisato, so I don't need that. Now, would I buy, like, another outfit from them from a different series? Maybe. Um, I always liked the uh, uh, Sound Euphonium. They had one of uh, Kumiko's outfit and stuff, which I really thought was neat. Um, now, I don't... I don't really, like, it's not available anymore. I don't have the space for it at the moment. Um, so probably won't get that. And probably I won't get any more, to be honest. So that's kind of like the Nezuko here. I really like this Nezuko. Um, I have had the opportunity to buy a Hatsune Miku of the same size. And you saw that if you watched that video. 
I didn't do it, mostly because I didn't have the way to get it home, but I didn't do it, and I don't regret not buying it, um, because it's kind of like if you have one really cool item in your collection, then it works. You have that item, and then you're like, okay, it makes my collection stand out. If you have two of that item, then it starts to dilute the feel of it, so... I'm kind of in that with this. Like, one of them is really cool. If I have a whole room full of outfits, though, then it's like, okay, that's just a part of the collection now. Like, one one freeing bunny is really cool, but whenever you have 20 of them, they're still pretty cool. But it's, it's not as impactful as that first freeing bunny, or it's not as impactful as your first outfit like this. It's not as impactful as the first thing like this. So, if that makes sense. But, that's just me. But overall, I'm quite happy with it. I have no real issues with it, other than that stain. But, I mean, I think it turned out really well. Um, here's where it's going to go in the collection. I did have to organize a few things to be able to fit it over there. So, there's that. Um, I'll kind of give you an update later on. Maybe I'll post some pictures of where I moved everything else. Because, it doesn't fit there with those as well so i did do some moving but um it, it is what it is so what is next on the docket of major purchases that make no sense uh, first of the year we had nezuko middle of the year we had chisato's outfit here so what do we get around november or december that will be the finish of the trilogy here I don't know. We'll figure that out, but uh, we got to have something because we've gone too far now. We've got to finish that off. Maybe we'll get like we we had human sized doll, human outfit. Next thing we get an actual human. I don't think that's legal. Um, the 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 life size Cheezeru figure. That's next. Stay tuned. 5,000 subscribers, we hit it, or we get it. I don't know. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.